Hi everyone. Well, it looks like everybody that's going to vote did, so uh, on whether I should have two channels, one for the regular video and one for, for drone, uh, quadcopter, quadcopter drone. And 99% uh, said that just leave the channel the way it is, Everybody, most everybody likes it just that way. Just do my regular videos uh, like I do, and then uh, throw in some uh, aerial footage now and then, you know, maybe do a 360 and and just some shots of where I am and, you know, what I'm doing and the area around. And that's that's okay with me. <laughs> I didn't really want to have to start another uh, channel, you know, to edit it. Both channels takes twice as long, so. But the way it works, uh, when I do a drone video, it's usually 15, 20 minutes long. Or it could be longer if I'm having a particularly good time and use both batteries and both batteries is about 40 minutes all together so I mean that would just bore everybody to tears it would have to be extremely interesting uh, you know aerial shots of forest fires and things like that which is now against the law so uh, FAA has said that uh, we can't be doing that anymore no more you know aerial shots of emergency vehicles and things like that which is fine because I don't really follow all that anyway. There's too much other stuff going on. So, uh, but like I said, the way that works is uh, I do the regular videos with the Canon, the one that I'm using now, and then uh, the aerial shots are done with the GoPro. So it's actually two different videos that you know I put together, I edit together. So what I can do and what I will do is. Just go ahead and use the aerial shots now and then. So I see something particularly interesting. Then, uh, well, what I would consider interesting, I would, I'll go ahead and shoot that uh, with the, the the drone. And then uh, when I when I put the whole video together, I'll take that 15, 20 minute video, uh, make a separate video for it. Uh, and then put it, place it in a in a playlist that you know there'll be a link at the bottom there in the description where you if you just want to go and look at video stuff you can do that on the same channel. It'd just be in a, in a different playlist. So uh, I think that's the best way. I really do. I think that's the best way. Uh, it was suggested this morning that I put some video, some aerial video on the end and. Uh, edit it down to about uh, no more than 60 to 90 seconds. Uh, I'll probably do some of that and then some longer stuff maybe. We'll see how things go. Uh, but if I'm like out at the river and that, or you know, I might be following a boat or something, you know, it's going to be a little bit longer. But we'll take the best shots of, of the whole video and edit those in. That's probably the best way to do that, I think, don't you? So, well, anyway, miscellaneous stuff, not a whole heck of a lot going on. I wanted to uh, uh, get out there and get on that camper, but <laughs> it is such a mess. I just don't, I just don't want to. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to, though. If, I'm, if I intend to sleep in it, I'm going to have to do that. Uh, I had said in a previous video that the table was broke. I thought the pedestal was just bent, uh, which would be an easy fix. Uh, but as it turns out, the a the actual uh, mounting had, has pulled right out of the floor. So I guess when those panels, solar panels came down on it, they're, it's about 50 pounds for the two of them. Uh, probably hit the edge and bent it way over and pulled that thing right out of the floor. So, uh, well, you know, eventually I'll I'll get out there and I'll look to see how bad it really is. I might just patch it and and you know put the uh, the pedestal slot pedestal slot back in the floor, maybe in a little different spot or something. As you probably know, it's just a metal metal plate with a hole in it, and then the pedal goes down in it, or the stand for the table goes down in it. So we'll see. Or I might just get a little table. Uh, Walmart has some good stuff, you know, little fold-up tables that I can use. 
and if you've been watching the channel for a while, you know that I have a problem with that table anyway. Uh, I can turn it one way, and then it's all narrowed down, and I can't get anything on it. You put the laptop, laptop on it and a mouse, and that's about it. And then everything else has to go behind it, or I can turn it 90 degrees, and then it's in the way. Uh, I have to walk sideways between the table edge and the counter. So, <laughs> I might just go ahead and put uh, one of those smaller fold-up tables in it, anchor it to the floor somehow. And that way I can at least have a table to eat on and put stuff on. And uh, uh, But the problem with that is, is if I take the, the stock camper table out, then that uh, gets rid of a bed, which really, if I think about it, I don't need that bed anyway, because there's, you know, there's very, very seldom anybody go with me. And when they do, they just use their tent. Terry or Wesley, they just, they'll use their tent. And neither one of them want to go with me for more than a day. Maybe one overnight to go fishing or something. So, uh, that's the way I feel about it. It's my camper. And, uh. You know, 95% of the time or so, I'll be in it by myself. So all I need is just the one bed. And that table, if it's in the way, I can fold it up, lean it up against the wall. And as I said in a previous video, I wish I could uh, put that lounge chair that I use for camping in the ca in the camper. That <laughs> thing is so comfortable. But, yeah, you know, that's just overkill. I could get it in there, but, yeah, eh, too much. <laughs> So I guess that's it on this one. I just wanted to let everybody know that the channel is going to stay the same uh, as it was with uh, some aerial shots now and then. And then, uh, oh, if I go out like to practice or something, there might be a few minutes of that, you know, a few seconds of that or something, just to highlight uh, what I'm doing. And then the rest will go in the other playlist. So I guess that's, I guess that's the best way to do it. And like I was saying, I'm repeating myself. I don't, you know, the thought of having to edit two different channels and to keep up with both channels. Uh, as most of you know, editing film, editing videos for YouTube can be challenged sometimes. So I don't need any more of that. So I guess that's it. Uh, I don't, I can't, I don't know how many minutes I forgot to set up the clock. But uh, anyway, hope you all have a great day. And uh, I love you guys for, you know, Voicing your opinion, every single one of them were, were helpful and appreciated. I really, I really do appreciate that. Uh, you guys are awesome. And I'll talk to you soon. See ya.